Blood wake. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I remember getting that before. Weapon. Show me. Show me. Show me. Blood wake. What do you do? We have made for centuries. We will make for ma as many more. They could kill every mage and we would still make. But they cannot because of what we make. Her hands of the stave works. Is that Elvin or? Uh. Hmm. We could give it to Solace. Who's got. Oh, wow. Vivian. Hmm. Hmm. No, the blood week. Yeah, Dorian's Archmage uh, Lightning Staff does plus 17 magic, which is pretty bad, eh? Hmm. It should probably go the Dorian or Vivian. Uh, where am I? I actually kind of want to give it to Vivian. Mm hmm. Oh, and everyone's level fifteen now. I could freaking give. I was gonna give that to. Okay, what does she have? She has fire, but she's got lightning abilities. And Solus has cold lightning. Okay. And then Dorian has lightning. Let's give him the cold staff, the Archmage Ice Staff, actually. That's what really good bonus is, but meh. Eh. Toss you. Uh, I have, like, so much stuff. Um, I think I have... Oh, let's give Blackwall his amulet. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, okay, there we go. Amulet of second win. Um... Is there another one? I don't know. What else did I get? You gonna tell me anything else I got? Whatever we're in. Ferelin Broad Axe. Toss it! <laughs> okay. <gasps> Guess what we can freaking put on! Holy terrifying bow. Wow. I like the idea because I, I, it's one of the few words in Elven I remember because it's the keep, right? But it's Suladin. It means endure. It's also something that uh, Sola says to the Romance Inquisitor, and the Romance Inquisitor says it to him. <sighs> All right. And, okay, let's see, let's just see how it compares. <gasps> it's not as good! Not as good! But, if I put stuff on it, maybe? Ha, <sighs> ah, guy, I'm, I'm very, I'm very super unsure. I really like, oh, but it looks so good on him. Let's see, what am I, okay, 213. 162, but this is more roguelike, you know what I mean? But, or, or I could find a Prowler male schematic and make my own, but it's got royal sea silk on it, you can see it on the sleeves, and look how dark it is, and how like gold, the, it's like kind of coppery, the little shield, it looks like, it looks like a freaking shield on his chest, freaking, it's gorgeous! Oh, I'm so torn. I might just have to keep, like, both of them and just play with both of them. You know what I mean? But for now, now we're going to go talk to Dorian because Dorian said something. When I didn't bring him into the Fade with me, he said something. He said something very interesting. He said something very interesting about it all.
The Inquisitor's Dad. work is never Dad. done, I see. Dorian! We're supposed to both uh, Oh, maybe it's because I took him into the Fade. Okay. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go see what Solus has to say then. Since I didn't bring Solus with me. Hey, you greatly disapproved. Good afternoon. Okay, we are not friends anymore. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Well, freaking, isn't he supposed to like talk about like, hey, why did you Tell do that with the, the Grey Wardens? I found in the Kokari Wild is a humble cottage far. <laughs> Tribes. The trees and weeds did not reclaim the hope, nor did the chasten dare to come and steal the trinkets. You know who was there. It was empty, long abandoned, but the world feared that you might return. At the time when I played this before, I wouldn't have known what this meant, but that is talking about Flemeth. <gasps> Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a young canary working in a simple kitchen. Ah, the baker. Baking bread as she was ordered every morning. In every loaf, she broke the rules. She'd take a pinch of sugar and fold it into the center, like a secret. And this act of small rebellion brought a shining smile across her face. Oh. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Good afternoon. Eh. Uh, I'd like to hear more about what you've Can we ask? I I have shared everything oh, okay. I should spend some time encountering more stories. I cannot believe you don't know, know any more, more stories. Taken his army. He lacks the conventional forces to take Orlay. He must see Orlay destroyed utterly by whatever means possible, not merely thrown into chaos. Okay. We'll talk later. But also, um, he put up this. This. Oh no, this one the Grey Warden one, isn't it? This one was here before. This is the Grey Warden one. Does it also include this one? Shoot, I should. I think it is. Yes, yes, yes. Because they partition off like this. That's adamant in the desert, and that's the Grey Warden shield. And is this like some sort of symbol of like us keeping the Grey Wardens or what? What does it mean, Solas? What does it mean? I thought we were gonna like talk with people. Like people would be. Oh, let's go execute the guy. <gasps> yeah. Well, this is a whole world. Oh! Oh! Look at that! It looks so cool! It's way more detailed than it was before! Wow! I mean, this is the DLC stuff, so obviously... <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at these statues! This is Avar stuff! Oh my gosh! Oh, look at this! There's so much. I'm gonna maybe I'll need to check the other ones out just to freaking see because maybe the PC version gives you more decor, but that's awesome. That's cool. It looks really nice. Time to go murder a man. Look at the rugs. Oh my gosh, I love it. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. Chop his head off! We found Chop it off. him alive, offering extreme it resistance. Chop it off! Likely because Chop the off. order will ask for his head. Chop it In more off. colorful terms. Chop it off! <laughs> to say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. <laughs> Countless better men and women than you. Why shouldn't this be quick? I recognize <laughs> proceeding. You have no authority to judge. <laughs> but I can still cut your head on off. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear not just Corypheus, but Taventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground he trod in your path. You guys need to wake up. I serve a living God. Bring He's down not a your god, he's still trying from the physical. Glory awaits me. See, and he wants to be killed, but it's like, you know what? Just to me, I think, and I think the Inquisitor might say it. It's like, let's see what happens when you die. We'll see what kind of glory you get. You know what I mean? Lord Erimond, 
Any hey, look! Everyone approves! Has apparently been withdrawn. You will die by my hand. <laughs> Truth lies. It in does indeed, man. I wish I was a mage to come into the fade and freaking see you there and see how unhappy you are. I'm gonna chop your head off! <laughs> look at Talon! I think this was the only execution I ever did. Oh, no hesitation. Oh, boy. He was afraid, too. He was like, uh, he's like wiggling around. <laughs> oh, again? <gasps> That's right. Um, I think I know what this one is. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes. As if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. See, you can't actually um, execute her. You can publicly humiliate her, jail her, and leave her to rot. Not judge her. And I prefer this route. Because... It seems like the best way, I don't know, it seemed, I mean, I could do things differently. No, we're gonna stick, we, we tend to do like the historical diplomatic stuff and even though it's not showing up as such, I think going to the deep roads, it will allow her to at least maybe have some sort of redemption, not just dying. But dying like she was supposed to, like she's like sh like her calling would demand. You know what I mean? And dying as a warden should, maybe. I don't know. You feel your life is over. There's a place for such wardens. Sir Ruth, you'll go to the deep roads. Your death may be as quick as you choose. This sends no message. This is just an end. And that was true. So you notice that the guard, there's still respect for the wardens, you know? So, I don't know. And that kind of throws me her response. She's like, but that doesn't send a message. I'm like, you know what? It sort of sends the message that you're all, the thing you feared, the, un the calling is going to happen regardless of what you do. You know what I mean? That's what I think. Um, and that the wardens cannot be brought down any more than they already are. You know? That you will die a warden. I don't know. I'm trying to step on your toes, you know. Oh, come on. Not a special shipment after all that? Ugh. All right, let's check, let's check out the decor. See, what I don't like is that there's no elven stuff. I was really quite upset about that. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Prospect Basin stuff. I don't know what this unknown one is, though. Maybe I'll look it up. Oh, it says it's a Prospect... It's, play, it's a Jaws of Hakan one, but that doesn't really make any sense. Oh, you can get Avar or Frostback Basin 
or dragon, but that's a reward for killing a high dragon in the multiplayer. Dragon would be cool. Well, it looks like uh, Frostback Basin is going to be the coolest, to be honest. Or the one that I like. The Parvola and stuff is a little bit weird for me. But we could try the Deventer Imperium, though. I wonder what that looks like. Let's go look. Let's go look. Now I really want some Prowler mail schematic. I'm gonna look up where to get that. Oh, whoa! Oh, I actually really like that. Okay. Oh, that's very intimidating looking. I like it. It's all like my, my Ferelden banners and my Elven drapes. Oh, look at the chairs and tables. Sue. Oh, hey. And then there's this. Whatever. I don't know. Whatever this is supposed to do. Oh. <laughs> Varric's chair changed. Oh, they did. And the chairs, both the chairs changed. And like the mantelpiece thing. Interesting. We'll keep it. I like it. I like it. It's scurry. It's scurry. Oh my gosh, you can purchase it from the Black Emporium for like 20,000 coins. Almost 21,000. Or it's a random loot drop from tier 3 chess. Oh my gosh, I want it! It says it's a value of 2,400. Why does it cost so much? It would have to be, well, okay, hang on, let me actually look up the, uh, that's the superior Prowler mail, so let me just look up the Prowler mail. Oh, the regular uh, Prowler mail can be purchased for almost 5,000 coin. I might have to go check that out. But it's oh, it's tier 3, though. And I might have to be level 18 before I can purchase stuff like that. No! Oh, man. Well, maybe I'll have to run check that really quick. But not right now, I guess. I don't know. Can I talk to people now? Oh, wait. Wrong door. <gasps> Varric! I gotta talk to Varric. Oh, shiz. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, no. oh, the floors look awesome! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Did I ever tell you about the time Hawk was on a merchant guild hit list? Tough. Hawk's uncle got into an investment scheme with a couple of merchant caste businessmen. They took a lot of people's coin in order to arrange the import of wandering hills from the Anderfells. A delicacy, I'm told. Their weird foreign foodstuffs arrived alive, and one of them, true to its name, wandered off in the middle of the night. Oh, I don't know. His last words were... Say goodbye to Varric for me. That son of a bitch. He would do that. The guild uh, traced the shipments to Hawk's uncle, but uh, as usual, he was so far in debt he couldn't see daylight. So they went after Hawk instead. They sent guys from the local carter to Hawk's estate one night. Five big dusters, armed to the teeth. They're about to kick down the door when Hawk just opened it and invites them all inside. Leandra, Hawk's mother, make them tea, and for the next two hours tried to get them to make small talk. They wandered out of the house in a daze. No idea what just happened. <laughs> Never came back. Hawk just had that effect on people. 
I... I always wanted to tell that one. Thanks. I guess I've got some letters to write. Carver should be told. Excuse Is Carver me. still alive? Where's Carver? Hold on, let me see. Come on. If Erica hugged him, it would be one thing, but for Talon too, it's a little bit weird, but. Did I ever tell you about the time? They, they're weird. Foreign foodstuffs arrived alive, and one of them, true to its name, wandered off in the middle of the night. Shit. Yep, so weird. I'm sorry, Varric. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I have to choose between Alistair and Hawk. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the, with the older version, I guess. The the one where I don't hug him. If it was Erica, maybe, but it was just kind of. And, and hugging is always weird in these games. Like, very rarely does hugging look natural in a Bioware game. It looks like two wooden puppets are, I don't know, trying to be pals. Um, I could probably talk to him again, but. My friend. No, okay, good. We're friends again. <laughs> we'll talk later. Goodbye. When are you going to start saying Dureth Shiral to me? That's the sign of true friendship. Dorian. Okay, here we go. You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. Right. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio. Trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. Uh, I could, but should we... Uh... Yeah. That's the Dorian I know. <laughs> Critiquing every book in my life. Yeah, I like that. I wouldn't have to if you could find some rebellious heretic archivist to join the cause. Are there rebellious archivists? <laughs> Other than you, that is. <laughs> if Eurypheus ever starts burning masterworks of literature, I'm sure a few will pop up. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. There has to be a ton by Genitivi in here. When we fell into the chasm, into the fade, I thought you were done for. I don't know if I can forgive you for that moment. <gasps> oh, Dorian! Oh my gosh! You were with me. I can't, I kind of I think I kind of want to say that, but I'm actually gonna maybe go back and do all of these. I want to see, but uh, I understand what he's saying, but forgive me. You were right there with me the entire time for making me think you were dead. Sent me ahead and then didn't follow. Oh! Just a moment, I was certain you wouldn't. I thought, this is it. This is where I finally lose him forever. Dorian! Are you all right? Um. I, I see. Depending on what kind of action you choose, it depends on what kind of your face is set in. Uh, what should I say? Uh, I learned so much, or it was horrible. No, it wasn't horrible. It was just, I don't know. I learned a surprising amount. What happened to the Temple of Sacred Ashes, for one? Regained your memories. That's good, then. I think so. <laughs> you do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blight, in comparison. At least you were at my side. <laughs> no offense, but I'd almost rather I hadn't been. No sense of adventure? That's surprising. <laughs> I've not your talent for survival, and not everyone is as discerning as I. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. 
Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. You don't? You don't number among them? It's tempting, but I'm no fool. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. I wish you luck. <laughs> um, let's... Actually, it, it auto-saved... Ah! Really? It just auto-saved over it? Um, I think it did. No! I want to try out the other ones! I didn't save before I... Oh, God! What is this about? When we fell into the chasm. They sound like the an arguing married couple. I, I love it. I thought we were done for. I don't know if I can forgive you for that moment. Okay. I didn't open that rift on purpose, you know. Might be handy if I could. Certainly. Let's tear holes in the fade willy uh, Historically, I'm sorry. that has worked out. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm here and alive, aren't I? You sent me ahead and then didn't follow. Just a moment, I was certain you wouldn't. I thought, this is it. This is where I finally lose him forever. Are you all right? I look angry. Um, let's try it was horrible. It was like walking in a nightmare, but everything was real. I couldn't. Ah, it's as I thought. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That any of us made it out alive is difficult to believe. That you made it out, a miracle. You do realize this feat. I like that actually. I like that one a lot. Years. Dorian is so cute. I can't even handle it. I can't handle how adorable Dorian is. Like, Solus is like mysterious and intriguing and blah blah blah, but Dorian's just cute! And I feel like while Erica may have been like, that was a really interesting experience, Talon, I think, did kind of and it was good to know, but he's gonna tell his lover, you know, that, I mean, part of it, I mean, it was an interesting experience, but for him, it was walking in a nightmare, you know, he's not a mage, so. All right, we'll say, we'll try, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to go through it with me. I'm not sorry I was there with you. I thought I'd lost you. You sent me ahead and then didn't follow. For just a moment, I was certain you wouldn't. I thought, this is it? This is where I finally lose him forever. Are you all right? Interesting. This is the only one where your face is different. The other two, you kind of come out being like, you know, well, what did you want? Like, kind of like an, like an arguing face a bit. But here, he actually looks like he he's like concerned and like worried and like, like, oh, I didn't quite realize what this meant to you. You know, like I didn't quite realize what what that looked like to you. You know? Oh man, that's gonna be difficult. It was like walking in a nightmare, but everything was real. I couldn't. Ah, uh, it's as I thought. Oh man, that was hard. Um, I will save that, and then I'm gonna go back and double check the other one. The middle one. I'm not sure why he looks upset in this one. Like, he should look more, like, understanding slash concerned. He's like, I'm here and alive, aren't I? But then Dorian says, 
you know, you sent me ahead and then you didn't follow, you know, that's what's got him upset. So, I still got Dorian upset. So, uh, I kind of like the arguing, like, a little bit, you know, like, the banter or whatever, but I just, I prefer the face on the other one, you know, but I think I'm going to go with the I'm sorry one. As much as I actually really like kind of like the, the like, a uh, little bit of an argument there, um, I prefer the facial expressions for, I mean, it might be kind of a silly reason, but it's, I prefer the facial expressions of the I'm sorry one, you know? I feel like him and Talon would be a little bit more inclined to do, like, the, like, arguing, like, not like that, but kind of like the arguing, you know, just a little bit, but... I don't know. I just prefer his facial expression in this one. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go with the middle one, where they kind of have, like, a little bit of an argument, but, you know, not really. I think I like that one the bestest. I like it the bestest. I do. Uh, the facial expression, not so much, but everything else. I, I kind of like the conversation. We're... Because maybe Talon hasn't, I mean, Talon, like, loves Dorian, but maybe it, it's like, it, it maybe it wasn't quite love yet, but it's kind of getting there. Like, it was a big, like, a lot of like, you know, but it wasn't quite, like, like, he's seeing that how much exactly Dorian loves him, and he's realizing maybe that if he had been, if he had switched places with Dorian, if he had had to watch if he had to be sent ahead by Dorian, and then he didn't know if Dorian made it or not, like, he would, he was like, oh, that would be horrible, you know, and Dorian's so freaking cute. I need to interact with him more and bring him out more, which I am going to be bringing him out permanently now. He's going to be my, I might have to get him revived because that ability is freaking useful, so. Um, but anyway, this has been really long. I haven't called it in a while, so I'm going to call it now. Um. Maybe catch up on a little thing as I'll wait for the audio to export. But um, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I'm glad we were able to progress the story this far. We'll make sure to go through and talk to everyone after this and get their perspectives on things. So uh, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.